Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got a super fun video to share with you guys. It has been a while since I have customized a knife and uh, a lot of you are probably familiar with the uh, period of time where I was customizing shamans. I, uh, I really wanted to do that again. So I picked up a crazy shaman on the secondary market and I also picked up some really cool scales and I'm going to put it together uh, for you guys and for me today. Should be really fun. I did pay full price for everything. Uh, nobody sent me anything for free. Thank you so much to my patrons for supporting me. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex and on TikTok at the underscore metal underscore complex. So what did I pick up? Well, I picked up uh, a, a Spyderco in a steel, a Shaman in a steel that um, I am completely unfamiliar with. But I know it is one of the absolute kings when it comes to edge retention. So this is a sprint run. God, by the way, the tumbled finish on this guy, I have never seen a Shaman with this finish before. I have tumbled Shamans. My original is kind of a, the standard one. I've got one in CTS XHP that is like darker. And then I have my uh, S90V Shaman, which is a belt satin finish. I've never seen one with a uh, tumbled finish that's quite as reflective. That is beautiful. But anyways, 15V, which apparently has like a crazy off the charts edge retention. I mean, when I say one of the kings of edge retention in this knife world, I mean that, one of the kings. This apparently has uh, some special heat treat protocols with, that were developed by Sean Houston. I think that's correct. And that would be the meaning behind the Triple B logo right there on the other side of the blade. That's his logo. So not only is it a composition that is well known for incredible edge retention, but the specific protocol involved with getting it exactly right was developed by this person and applied to this knife. So very cool. Brown scale is not for me, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm also going to get rid of the pocket clip and ideally the backspacer. We're going to see if everything fits. So what am I putting on this knife? Well, uh, I found what I think are probably some of the most attractive scales that I have ever seen. This, These are RGT or Rips Garage Tech. I actually have a scannable for you guys. If that will actually, there you go. Let's see if that will actually work. Those of you that are watching on TV, you can do that. If you're not, you're like, what am I? But go down into the description. I'll link the RGT website, uh, Rips Garage Tech. Um, but I actually have some of his scales, some of his skinny scales on my pair of three. So I know they fit. And I saw somebody uh, create a video with scales that looked similar to this, not, not the diamond texture. But I thought, wow, those scales look beautiful on the Shaman. This is not a new thing. They've been around for a while. I went to his website and found a pair of these just sitting there. <laughs> uh, made in the USA, as far as I know. Um, but I thought, yeah, I'm going to buy those right now. And let's do another custom build. So I think I'm going to stop talking and speed it up, add some music, do what we normally do. And then by the end of it, it'll all be uh, put together and we'll show it off. So anyways, let's go ahead and get to it.
So we've got that all completed. Wow, this is gorgeous. Absolutely a gorgeous combination here. These are probably the best looking and most comfortable scales for the Spyderco Shaman that, uh, that I own. And actually, while I was you know changing uh, camera modes there, I probably should have gotten my other ones out. Um, I'll get the three other custom projects out that I've done in the past. Um, and not my regular shaman. I have one more just standard shaman, so there's nothing really interesting about it. Um, but uh, I've built all of these over oh, at least a couple of years. Um, and I've always gone, these have pl flytanium scales. We have the, um, originally, the uh, River's Edge Cutlery FDE PVD uh, 204P blade. So that's the only... Spyderco blade that's not black or, you know, satin or tumbled, right? Coated or uncoated. It's just black or satin. Those are the only colors outside of the River's Edge Cutlery exclusive. And then I did Flytanium scales that I had River's Edge Cutlery Cerakote black. Uh, we have the uh, S90V Spyderco Shaman with Zerkatai Med Emboss scales. Definitely the most expensive. And then we also have another Med Emboss uh, Spyderco Shaman. This is the dark tumbled one. Uh, in CTS XHP, lots of fingerprints all over that one. Sorry, um, but uh, these were those other three were all built pretty close together. Um, but uh, yeah, really enjoy these. Each one a different finish. But I gotta say, uh, the while not the most expensive, it was still a very expensive build um, overall between the scales. The scales weren't bad at all. Buying the knife from the secondary market was definitely the most expensive part. But the scales were 150 bucks, which I didn't find bad at all considering the quality on them was very, very good. Really cool to have this combination of stuff all together, and I love that finish. Uh, the backspacer, that was a little bit of a surprise. I, I left that out of the first part. That is a zirconium backspacer uh, that was created by Medenboss. I wanted one cool accent with this, because otherwise it was all stonewashed, right? So I did that. A lot of you might be wondering, why didn't you do Medenboss's zirconium uh, clip? It's a cool clip. I just don't love the way that it looks, and I wasn't ready to spend I, however much he wanted for that clip. I know it's zirconium. The backspacer itself, itself was really expensive, um, but uh, I just went with the, the same clip that I know works, right? It's the same clip, actually, that I've got on all of these knives. Um, that's the MXG Deep Carry clip. It just works really, really well, um, but that's what I went for, so really happy with this overall. These things make me very happy. I uh, I really enjoy customizing the Spyderco Shaman, um, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this because it's really fun to do. Anyways, uh, thanks to Rips Garage Tech and to Med Boss for creating the parts required for this build. They had no idea I was doing it, but thank you to them for being a part of the community. That's going to be pretty much it today, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex and on TikTok at the underscore metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.